Mm, excuse me. Welcome back. I'm in my car right now because I'm on my lunch break. It's a it's a long day for me, so I'm going to have to do this video now and edit it when I get home and then post it later. But anywho, it's five and a half months since I've started my lock journey. And literally, like, the only two things that I really have to update about at this point is that the shrinkage is real and my... I finally figured out like a, a, a regimen for keeping my locks moisturized. I don't know if you can tell it like right now because it's halfway through the day um, and I don't spray my hair while I'm at work or I don't know, maybe maybe I should. Maybe I should have a spray bottle with me. But um, what I've been doing since I was like nervous about it being cold outside, which today is actually pretty warm. That's that global warming, but that's a side note. But yeah, I've been worried about it being cold outside, wetting my hair, keeping it moisturized because during the summer, like when I first started my locks, all I was doing was spraying it down, spraying it down, making sure it was like super hydrated like all the time and then sealing in the moisture. And I feel like that's really what helped um, speed up the process of my hair like starting to lock. So now, being as though it's colder outside, I'm not doing it as much, but I pretty much just changed my lock regimen to be all done at night. So when I get in the shower in the evening, I will then like water wash my hair or just at least let it get like wet enough so that it's like kind of dripping. And then I'll just squeeze my locks down like this so that it's not too like too wet. And then I'll moisturize my scalp. I'll use the Talia Wajit's healing oil, healing oil still. Um, I put it on like my palms and the tips of my fingers and I'll just like flip my hair upside down and moisturize and massage my scalp like I'll just be like this um, and then I'll also like go like this to make sure that it's getting on the lock itself too and I try to give it as much time as I can for it to kind of dry up on its own before I put a scarf around it but most of the time um, even when I wake up in the morning like the scarf is just a little bit damp I don't know how I feel about that because I know that people sometimes notice that there's like a, a mildew smell or like mildew accumulates in their hair from, from it being wet and stuff like that. So I have to look more into that, but for the most part, yeah. for the most part, it's been fine, I guess. I don't know. Like it doesn't smell like anything. I just washed it the other day and yeah so that's pretty much what that is i'm glad that i finally kind of came up with the routine that's working for me throughout the day though like my hair like it absorbs the moisture like so quickly that like i said like it's my lunch break now and i feel like my hair looks well can you see it in the light i don't know it may look i don't know it may look dry to you but i know my hair so it's not it's not because I know when my hair is extremely dry okay because it's a problem when it's extremely dry and it's not that but it'll be fine until like I get home tonight do the same thing all over again and so that's that and then the other thing what was the other thing I said oh yeah the shrinkage like literally my mom just told me the other day she was like every time I see your hair it looks like it's getting shorter why isn't it growing and I'm just like okay this is a part of the process it's literally shrinking because so a lot of my ends like the bottom of my locks are um as i've said before they're sealing so the bottom of them are turning up into the lock i always try to do this like that but i'm holding my phone with one hand this is the best example i can always show you guys but if you can see but it is this lock right here this is this never gets easier this never gets easier but anyways like so if you can see like it is a li it looks a little thick but then if you see like the whole lock itself is super skinny like there we go um and so that's one of the first ones that started to seal up into itself and after i did it once i just thought that that was it <laughs> but i'm noticing with a lot of my hair um, maybe that's not it because it's starting to like bend again and maybe it's because it's a very very thin lock my hair is actually very thin back there because it's just a whole nother texture than like the rest of my head so it's very thin it's very uh, fine it's it, if it almost like it literally looks like these baby hairs that I have in the back of my head like it's it ain't that thin but it's thin it's not like these 
things up here. And so it's starting to like loop around again. So I guess it's gonna just be like super short but thick, which is fine. Cause I like my goal is to have thick locks. So I don't really care so much for the length because I know that that will come in time, but I really would like to have thick locks, especially because I don't have a lot of locks. Like I don't have a hundred and like whatever else. I don't know, whatever. So yeah, that's how that's going. And then I can see it happening. I think I'm starting to notice that whenever I see a lock that's just not completely straight and it's starting to bend towards the end, I've noticed that the ones that have done that before like sealed into themselves and some of them are still doing that like this one. I'm trying to, sh okay. Can y'all see that within that little space right there? So you see how I was doing some weird funky stuff? Like this is a straight lock right here. And then the rest of it is just doing something else. I don't know. Um, so yeah, a lot of my locks are doing that. This too. Like it looks like an L or like a, yeah, it looks like an L shape. And so what's happening is the bottom of the lock itself is turning into itself so that it will then be just like a thicker foundation at the bottom. Well, I guess the foundation is at the root, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Those are the only two things that I really have to update about at this point. But my next video will be, well, my next lock video in two weeks will be my six month update. I am, I'm gonna contain the hypeness for the next video. But in that one, I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about just things that I haven't talked about, like how I, well, I did talk about how I started my lesson, but pretty much like how many locks I have, type of hair I have, da 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 So, Thank you guys for watching. As always, have a blessed day.